Hey everybody and welcome back to another gaming with Ezco. Last we checked off, um, we um, leveled up, um, but we didn't spend those points yet. Um, we have some more races to do. We finished one of them. We also started in with Rogue, but we have to wait till she's ready. Uh, we did get a phone call um, from Takamura, and I think that's what we're going to go do. Uh, he called. Let's go meet with him. Uh, 2.3 kilometers. We'll cruise over, and I'll, if I can see a um, uh, a fast travel point uh, on the way, I'll stop and hit it. But if not, I will simply, uh, you know, just keep, just cruise, just cruise, you know? How's everybody doing today, man? I'm doing great. <clears throat> Had a pretty good uh, Christmas. Nothing too fancy, just kind of, uh, you know, did some gifts with the family. Uh, played on a trampoline for a little bit today, which is wild considering I'm 31 years old, but hey. It was fun. And I came out of it relatively injury free. So, <laughs> small victories, you know, get them where you can. Um, I I think it, seem, it seems to me like the, some of the patches have uh, cleaned up some of the framey, uh, framiness that you get when you get into your car. So, I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, I know I just drove past a uh, fast travel point, but YOLO. Um, I am enjoying driving because it doesn't feel quite as bad as it once did. Uh, I still think that they really should work on... Whoa. They really should work on getting a, uh, uh, a feature where it zooms out for you while you're going based off your speed so that you can, uh, you know, see your fucking turns coming up and you don't have to panic. Like that, I was caught staring at my fucking... Uh, my GPS up in the top right instead of paying attention to the road, which is why I hit that dude head on. Excuse me. That one was just bad driving. Oh yeah, we should be pretty deep into Japantown. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna... I gotta spend some points, right? So I might as well go ahead and level up before... Excuse me. Didn't give me much room to get out. You have room. What does this say? Um. Hold on. Try out Hiroshi's uh, ad Add block under time pressure are to resist pressure from time pressure and sign sig significant. All cities should be free. Okay. Well, anyways. Oh, sorry about that. Anyways, there should be a mission here, but um, first let's go ahead and level up. Um. Hmm. Quick hacking. Uh, gotta spend a point somewhere. Did I jump to 10 intelligence? That was the last checkpoint I saw that I really couldn't meet. meet. Body would be good too, though. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with body so I can keep forcing doors and stuff. And uh, I'll figure it out from there. Uh, speaking of body, how's uh, my annihilation looking? Pretty good, pretty good. Shot shotguns. Uh, don't have that yet. Don't have that yet. What do I need to get this? Crit chance. Shotguns with might deal three percent more damage. That's such a stupid, underwhelming thing. It'd be nice to have something cooler, but since I don't, um, what I'll do instead is. Uh, I started down the cold blood path a little bit here. Maybe I will get more cold blood. Quick heck. Hmm. Increase the duration of cold blood by five seconds. Uh, after defeating an enemy, gain cold blood for ten seconds. 
and gain movement speed by 2% stacks up to one times. Uh, stacks up to two times. Movement speed doesn't seem worth it, but... Uh, and I have such low progress in that, so, you know... Uh, let's take a look at Assault. Reduces time to aim down sights. Quick melee attacks, deal 50% more damage, increases crit chance when firing from behind cover. Um, why don't I have this unlocked? I should have this unlocked. Oh, it requires level 9. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and pick up. ADS doesn't seem bad, honestly. Not something I'm super worried about getting. Crit chance, sure. It's boring, but effective, I suppose. I don't know if uh, crit chance is even really a viable build in this game. I don't know uh, how well the uh, balance is, but hey, whatever. Not something I'm super worried about. Where the fuck is this taking me? Why am I going the most obscure possible way? Uh, go into the building, or into the elevator. To the market, please. Uh, I got a song stuck in my head today. Welcome um, to N54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan, and this is the latest from around the world. The lunar green sky of uranium mine collapse that occurred just outside North Sea Field. Yo, these dudes are jamming. Jam Jamin. Oh, that dude's terrifying. Looks like half baby doll, half disgusting human. What you cooking? What is what is this? I don't know. Maybe tofu squares? I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Suits know one spark's all it takes for Japan Town to go up in flames. Riots are always best put down by folks not sporting your brand name. Ah, uh, you are here. Um, yeah, let's, more code. V, do not be a fool. This is a serious matter. Will you come? Yeah, I mean, I'm already here, but you know. Uh, Claire. The has I'd love to go over the plan with you. V? Yeah. Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. Go away. I acquired some information of my own. Oh yeah? Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His I did not mother. know that. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. What's a Gumin Domo? Subtly, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. Are you going to show me a world? We'll pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak now in private. Get there how? Why, Jen? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, 
find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need... I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half-decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. Do I? This is good to know. I mean, I know how to play the minigame. You don't know how to play the minigame? I can teach you, Taka. Not that hard. Also, why you gotta be a prick, man? Wow, busy with your shitty dealing. Fuck you. I was doing a race. To take control I can double jump, dude. One thing. Not right now, for some reason. But the I can. The security concerns me. The snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the CD cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. I think I see where this is going. Got me doing all the dirty work. Do you wish to trade places? What exactly would you say to her? Hello, my name is V. That's a good start. Hanako-sama knows me. Only I can do this. Well. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. That's you a... must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Okay. Well. This is can't be up to code. Somebody should... Uh, okay. Anyways, um, strong Merskulls. I am strong Merskull man. Sex and Chrome, I already have that one. In fact, I read it for you guys. Still not sure why I did that. But hey, no takesies backsies, right? Oh, my nose itches. Itches real bad. Oh, geez, Rick. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, you know, I can't say no to good. Whoop, nope. Not even good loot. I'll take bad loot, too. Yes, climb the ladder from behind it. Watson Whore Diary. Let's read that. Monday. What a fucking world. Finally, I get my ass on Ziggy's show, and right before I walk on stage, a fucking hospital somewhere gets shot up. This dick cancels the show last minute for a special ep about the fucking victims. Who the fuck cares? Is anyone gonna remember them in a week? Did they spend half their fucking career to get on that show? No. They just fucking died. I got my ass on stage anyway. Let them know you don't cock block a goddamn TV messiah. But security fucked me up so bad what was scrolled, what was scrolled got corrupted or some shit. Tuesday. Felt fed up today. Made a move on Town Hall to protest the fucking disgraceful neglect of our war vets. Got my hands on a dress made of sin fetuses. Chanted my fucking throat raw halfway, half the way down there until the director of Wet Dream recognized me and said I was looking sexy, heart. So, I leaned up against a schism? Uh, SCSM? Uh, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, fake choked on an air dick. And slapped my ass. Because I could tell he loves pretty boys. He took me he took my back to his place, chained me to his king bed and fucked me raw till I snapped each and every bedpost. He showered me in Eddie's and already got plans to see him next time or see him same time next. Uh, maybe I can screw my way into his BD, his next BD. Got into an argument with Ruth Zeng. We talked about the normies who died saving some other kids after a nuke popped off, popped during some core war or other. Call her a tough ass bitch on TV if you want, but she got all blubbery like a she got all like a blubbery baby on me. So whatever I figured 
I'd say something nice. So whatever, I figure I'd say something nice. I said they were pretty Nova and maybe they'd want to be like be my fans. Hell, looking at old photos, I was like, it's a fucking legit fucking shame because half of them got bulges halfway to Denver. Real waste of good dick. She just gave me stupid smile and told me to fuck off. I don't like that word. <laughs> Christ, I don't know which way's up. I'm fucking wiped. The boys brought over some lace shit or something, but it hit like hit me like a fucking fire truck. I don't know what happened, but everything smells like piss. There's a horse mask in my bathroom. If I had to guess, it was probably me who who wore it and got rode around. My knees do kind of get, kill thinking about it now. I don't know. I just thope. I just hope it was that director from Tuesday and not that skank from Apartment 3. Wow. That dude had a hell of a week. Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good uh, diary. Pretty funny. I think it's funny. Uh, install software. Jacking in. Fucking Jacking worked. off. Ooh, it fucking worked. I jacked in and off all over, all over this fucking terminal. Ooh, give it a terminal case of the skates. And? And? I'm a thief. a thief, ain't I? Keep saying so yourself. Not without reason. The shard walks, good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss... Roses have thorns. Uh, Every rose has a thorn. That song by... Sid, I have not eaten since yesterday. You should eat more. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. Spunky Monkey. Nicola. Cirrus Cola. Brosif's Brewing Company. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. Okay. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half. We have Hanako. One and a half. <laughs> Two. During the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Who and a half. Three. No. I get Aww. onto the float. Four. I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. We got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. He will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. <laughs> I would advise you to watch your distance. He didn't like it. Maybe I will. I mean, we're going to finish it, right? Oh, I ate two that time. Two balls, one mouth. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. What? Look at me. Make eye contact. No, keep staring at him. Eye contact. Yes. Mm. Well, done dumber well, shit before. Sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so. Things are even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What do you do? You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, 
mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Okay. Well, let's go do it then. Louder! Louder! I have decided to guard in order. In the flesh. President Myers has he eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete power. The they surrendered it to him. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa. The factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato, support Michiko-sama, Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka, treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about them some other time. What? Okay. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, you think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Might sure. as well. Why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So does the plastic. This is pretty good to me. Interesting. Uh, this is going to be an interesting mission, I think. Not necessarily the recon, but this whole idea of... I have found a good place to observe. The whole idea of, uh... Basically just kind of... We must just climb up here. We must just climb. I jump. Thank you. Yeah, take your time. Now, this way. I'm fucking Michael Jordan. Basically, compared to you. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. Oh, I'm not gonna believe that for a second. Got nothing to say, huh? We're just gonna take a nice quiet elevator ride up. That's a choice. The fuck is this thing? Oh, future crane? Beautiful view of the city. If, if, if there was anything to admire, hate Night City that much. Hmm. Perhaps I am simply homesick. 
as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attentions. Okay. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. Oh, too good for that, huh? If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod or with grilled salmon. Okay. No, even better. With umeboshi plants. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once. Pride on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburo Arasaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Why is that so hard to believe? Enough. What well, we'll both grow hungry. Rich people need gains too. Let's do this. So we must be aware of the mech. Okay, well, I don't know what all I'm supposed to be scanning here. We got a pipe. Gate security system. A vehicle that I can't scan. Another vehicle I can't scan. What is, uh, what are you? Another thing I can't scan. Um, you want to give me a hint here? Oh, okay. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Okay. Uh, armored door, sealed tight. That must be that one. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Got eyes on the comm system. It's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. This is not bad. I think I've seen everything. You wish to come for this reconnaissance? Do you a job? I expected you to be more useful than this. Okay. All right, quit moaning. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Uh, what else do you want from me? It's like a service tunnel by the road there. You gonna say something? It could lead to the warehouses. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. Okay. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kompiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. Good thing we have these comfortable bags of cement to sit on. Brought to you by Oryx. B. What? Oh, we got pizza. 
No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. Well, I did find one underwater. It's the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bag and echo. A bag and echo? What's that? What's a bag of neckos? It's a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost? Suppose anything's possible. Yeah, I mean, I do have a dead person living in my head. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko, too. Where'd you grow up, anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once, when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Childhood memories. Let's see. Hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron taste of blood from a split lip. I remember the chemical stench of the canal. Where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. What did they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before, discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. And all you had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Oh, I can do whatever fuck I, I want. You and your friend, Mr. Wells. I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Wasn't judging you. And true, you opposed the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way. Yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety? The Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. Tired of bickering. Let's just drop it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world. Forget everything. Nomads aren't lone wolves with egos. Whether they're blood or not, family comes first. Yes, but we need not quibble over details. I thought that's what we were doing. Do you know what I think? What's that? that no, but I know the gingerbread man. We both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. Okay. 
I like Takamura. I like Takamura a lot. Um, I think it is time to do something. Hmm? Oh, fuck, fuck, get worse. worse. You do not look so bad. <laughs> You're not seeing through my eyes, kid. Hey, A.V., not, like, uh, not like I'd be afraid of riding shotgun with you or anything, but some practice before next race, okay? <clears throat> Don't turn this around on me. That's why I love you, V, but seriously, practice. All right. Oh, come on. You walk slow. I'm going to leave you behind. And in so doing, I will run around and check out the loot sitch. Open. Yep. Hi. Yeah, don't mind me. Just, uh... Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, Takamura. We're gonna do a little B and E here, huh? Interesting though, um you know they said we don't have cats or whatever, or we don't have animals in the city. In touch. The divergent reaction. That is mine to do. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, on the next episode, let's do a little B&E, guys. What say you? Uh, if you guys got any pro tips or anything like that, you know, let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, man, thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time on Hell of a diversion there, Takamura. You're a bad driver. And Clara was giving me shit. Anyways, uh, see you next time. Thanks for gaming with us, go.